Now, on the latest show, we are all about putting the spotlight on the best new comedians. And tonight is no different. So please, make some noise for Javier Akeem, everybody! <laughs> Yeah, I speak English. <laughs> I know. Every time I walk out on stage, I always see someone's face in the crowd look at me and go, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I bet this is gonna be cultural. <laughs> it's nice to be here. Uh, I was on a plane uh, about a month ago, uh, flying home to uh, wherever you think I'm from in your head. <laughs> Good to be back. Uh, thanks for making a lot of noise when I came out here. You guys really made me feel like a rock star, so thanks very much. Here's a little confession. Like, deep down, comedians really want to be rock stars, yeah? Like, but I'm never gonna be like a rock star. Like, if I was a rock star, could have turned up to this gig in a limousine and I could be like, hey, ladies, <laughs> who likes champagne in the back seat of a limousine? And two of you might be like, oh shit, maybe I do. <laughs> but as a comedian, I have to be like, hey, ladies, hope you like buses. <laughs> oh, don't worry, daddy's rocking an extra travel card. Yeah, rolling deep. <laughs> And here's the biggest reason I could never be a rock star, basically because of this. Can you guys see that? Yeah, can you guys see that? Can you guys see how no one is reaching out to touch me? <laughs> like, even now? <laughs> we're all smiling, but I'm not touching the filthy comedian. <laughs> so you can probably tell by now from my accent uh, that I am from Australia, New Zealand. I'm from New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people, when they say you're from New Zealand, they say, oh, New Zealand, love the All Blacks. We love the haka. They do the haka before every game. Everyone knows they're gonna do the haka. It's tradition. I just think it would have been a bit weird the very, very, very first time they did it. Apropos of nothing. Imagine that game, right, coin toss. You're going that way, you're going that way. Anything else? Uh, actually, we've prepared an item. So I don't look like I'm from New Zealand. That's because I'm mixed race on top of that. My dad is Latin American, my mum is Chinese. Uh, this is what you end up with, yeah? <laughs> Just a little bit, what the fuck? <laughs> but Latin American and Chinese, when my parents had me, would have been like the first time you ever made cookies. Like, shit, I don't know how these are gonna turn out. <laughs> a lot of nationalities to deal with. Latin American, Chinese, grew up in New Zealand, now living in the UK. So if there are any racists in the room that want to tell me to go back to where I came from, just please be specific. <laughs> Cannot stand lazy racism. <laughs> Make an effort. Came to the UK, seeing all the touristy things. Like I went to the London Eye, that was amazing. Went to the Tower of London, that was amazing. Went to this place called Isle of Dogs, that was misleading. <laughs> Bought my backpack full of sticks for nothing, it was bullshit. <laughs> Living amongst you British people, learning your ways, your phrases. Like when British people are happy, there's a little phrase that you guys say when you're happy, which is, get in. <laughs> Get in! It's what you guys say when you're happy, but it's said with such malice and aggression and a shaking fist. It's t no one says it in a happy way. No one ever goes, get in. No one ever says it like that. <laughs> when you guys say it's dripping with venom, it's terrifying. Get in! Like the first time I heard it, I thought I was being abducted. <laughs> Just at a nice barbecue, one guy's like, get in. Like, where the fuck are we going, mate? We're having a great time. <laughs> You guys say, get in when you're happy. And when British people are not happy, the phrase I hear you say all the time is, I'm not having it. <laughs> I am not having it. Well, I haven't worked out what it is yet specifically, but I know that no one wants it in this country. But I have worked out that whatever it is must be so bad over here because people use it as a threat. Because people say, you're gonna get it. <laughs> and the other person says, no, I'm not having it. And then the first one will double down and go, have it. <laughs> and if someone has it, it must traumatize them because then they walk around telling everyone. They're like, mate, I've had it. <laughs> I've absolutely had it. I can't take it anymore. I want nothing to do with it. Just stop it, leave it, fuck it. <laughs> it's the very first game you learn at school. Someone comes up and tags you and says, you're it. And you're like, fuck, I am. <laughs> Nobody wants it over here. But even over here in the UK seems to want that. Because British people are always like, oh, that's better. Oh, I needed that. Oh, well, thank God for that. <laughs> that is so good. People dream about that. They go, mate, can you imagine that? Oh. <laughs> always say things like, do you fancy that? Oh, I do fancy a bit of that. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I've learned. It is bad, that is good. 
really simple rule for living here in the UK. It is bad, that is good. I also found out that years ago, before they changed their name, they were just a struggling boy band called Take It. <laughs> Everything's tough over here. My biggest moment of confusion happened my first week that I was here in your beautiful country. Done a lot of traveling as you do before you get here. I was fresh off the plane, needed some new shoes, went to this shop called Boots. <laughs> Party hard, Britain, you got me. Let's all laugh at this stupid tourist thought he could buy himself some footwear in a shop called Boots. <laughs> I was in there for ages, and eventually the lady comes up and goes, hello, sir, can I help you? And I was like, yeah, where are the shoes? <laughs> and she was like, uh, this is a pharmacy? Ha, 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 I was like, why would you call a pharmacy Boots? That doesn't make any sense. Like, you wouldn't call a bakery Hammers, would you? Makes just as much sense. She goes, sir, this is Boots. This is Boots. This is boots. It's boots. If you want shoes, try office. <laughs> and I said, I said, you're fucking with me now. You want me to walk into office and ask for shoes? You want me to into office and ask for shoes? Office sounds like they sell laptops. And she was like, oh no, that's curries. <laughs> Guys, thanks very much. Thanks for having me. I've been happy out here. Take it easy.